Hey, what's going on, social media family? I hope you are having an unbelievable day. I want to share a really cool word that the Lord dropped on me in corporate prayer. The other day we were just in, in prayer and it was I was marching, man. I was pacing back and forth. I had a, a, a just a little hop in my step. I was fired up in my spirit. I, and I knew that just something was going to come forth in the prophetic. And the Lord spoke to me so plain and so clear. He said, push back opposition. And I, I felt the intensity of God in this prayer meeting. And I said, all right, God, push back opposition. And so I was just praying into that. The Lord started speaking some things uh, to me personally, to you know, family, ministry, business, everything. And how to really just push back the enemy and different things. And then the Lord spoke to me and said, tell people to push back their opposition, okay? Now, what is your opposition? It's different for everybody. Some people, it could be fear. That may be your biggest opposition you have in life is fear. For some people, your biggest opposition is God has told you to step out on something and, and you're not doing it. That could be your biggest opposition, some people's biggest opposition is God has told them to walk away from some type of toxic relationship. You're not find out what your biggest opposition is and push it back. Push it back, okay? And so as I kept praying, I just felt the Lord say, we are going to win the things that we push back and come against. There's so many good people out there that are letting just a few things that are actually small in the sight of God to hold them back from being who God has called them to be. All right. I got some scriptures on this. First one, Luke 4, 18, for the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to proclaim the good news to the poor. And it says, he has sent me to proclaim liberty to the captives and recover the sight of the blind and to set at liberty those who are oppressed. See, when we move forward in everything that we are called to do, a lot of times it's not about just us being free. It's about the other people that we can help to be set free. So let's say that somebody overcomes some kind of addiction. They can then go forth and speak that to somebody else. Let's say that somebody really starts hearing the, the Lord clearly and starts, you know, putting out some prophetic words and they're accurate and they're true. Well, they can tell other people how to do that. Let's say somebody goes out there and entrepreneurs a business and the business starts to succeed. Well, then they are able to step up and tell somebody how they did it and then they can, you know, succeed. And so you've got to let your life preach whatever anointing that you have to help people to be set free because we got to push back the opposition in this hour. Another scripture, Mark 10 and 1. Jesus gathered his 12 together and imparted to them authority to cast out demons and to heal every sickness and every disease. A lot of people, your biggest opposition is a sickness or infirmity. You have authority through Christ to see people healed. Matthew 6, 10, they cast out every demon and anointed many sick people with oil and healed them. You got to learn how to pray the prayer of faith to push back opposition off of your life. One of the biggest oppositions people have is their mindset. You got to do mindset work to be able to know that you have the ability to to push back opposition and step into everything that God has called you to. Daniel eleven thirty two, But the people who know their God shall be strong and carry out great exploits. Some of you are right on the verge of a God adventure in your life. Stepping out of just the just natural realm of thinking and playing it safe and living in comfort zones to doing great exploits with God and moving forward. Some of you are right on the verge of that. 
Acts 1, but you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. When you receive the power of the Holy Spirit, that gives you God's authority to push back the opposition in your life. Anything that opposes you, you'll have that power inside of you. You will be able to do that. I remember when I was little and I was like, you know, going into elementary school, then to junior high. And my, my dad said, son, if a bully ever comes up to you, you just, you know, push them back. A lot of times in life, we let people, we let opposition, we let an infirmity, we let a broken mindset hold us back. I remember one time as a youth pastor, there was a young kid that was in our bus ministry came in. He was 14, just a real likable young man. And we were talking and he just kept saying why he couldn't succeed in life. And I said, listen, you, you can, you know, you, you can do anything you want to do and you can become anything that's in your heart to become. And he said, well, you know, I really don't have a mom or a dad. I don't have a this, you know, I go to a poor school. You know, and he just started telling me every reason why he couldn't. And I remember he said, well, honestly, deep in my heart, I, I kind of want to preach one day. So one, one week we got together and we worked on a message and he got up there and he preached for about four or five minutes. And when it was over, he said, I don't know what happened to me up there, but I was so scared and I had so much fear, but I did it anyway. He pushed back opposition. This young man is doing great things with his life today. You, you got to have some courage. You got to have some faith in God. This is a prophetic word for somebody. You got to have a push back anointing upon you to push back opposition. Anytime you ever, ever, ever want to try to do something great with your life, the fear of the past, negative opinions, things will always come against you. Have some faith, have some courage, and use your God-given authority. Walk in the anointing God has called you to walk in and move forward into that and watch what God does in your life. You know, uh, Ephesians 6.10 in the Passion Translation says, God wants to do an explosive work in you to do an explosive work through you. This is the time and this is the season that God is about to do some powerful things through some ordinary people that took a chance, as I read in Daniel, to do great exploits with God, to live an adventure with the Lord. You know, I really believe that there is a life that God has promised you that you know is available. You just haven't stepped into it yet. Let this prophetic word be an encouragement to you to step out and do the great things he's called you to. Love you guys. Hey, you want prayer? Go to the website, jojodawson.net, and I would absolutely love to pray for you. There's a place you can send me a prayer request. You guys have a blessed day.